Hey guys, this is Mal. If you're listening to this, you are about to hear a super special sneak peek of our latest bonus episode, but fair warning, this is just a sneak peek. Don't hurt us. It's totally optional to subscribe, but if you're interested, you can check out our Patreon by searching Significant Lovers Patreon online. Hope you enjoy. Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Are you sorry we drifted apart? Does your memory stray? So today's episode is about two people that I just wanted to talk about, honestly. I don't think they were the most obvious couple or, you know, most pressing. People are dying to hear their story. (laughs) But I, when I was younger, a teenager, millennial nostalgia, I loved The Hunger Games. I really liked Jennifer Lawrence. I considered her my favorite actress for a time or one of my favorite actresses. And I also loved the TV show Skins, which Nicholas Holt was on back in the day and they dated. And I feel like a lot of people forget about this couple, these two actors that dated. It was a while ago. And I kind of like those relationships. I like looking back and remembering like, oh, remember when these people were together? You know, it kind of happens even in real life, you know, when You remember who people dated in high school and how odd that is because now they've gone on to do other things. And yeah, I like I like those kind of couples. So I wish why we're doing it. Yeah, I wish I could cover episodes or like do the amount of research (laughs) I do in this podcast (laughs) into couples from my high school and like go through their social media and like overanalyze. Like, I'm sorry, that's a little nosy. I know (laughs) it would be so fun. People don't know who they are, so yeah i don't think they would listen and the people from our lives would probably be like what the hell (laughs) (laughs) that would be really fun yeah so this couple they kind of remind me of robston and also the stonefield emma stone and yes andrew garfield episode they're just they remind me of those those couples you know there's comic con they're Mm -hmm. they're just i would say they're peers it's the same time period so it's it's kind of that vibe yeah like (laughs) Like big franchise movies Mm -hmm. Uh yep there's a british guy Mm -hmm. yeah all three of those british guy american girl (laughs) american girl yeah Yeah. (laughs) both of those girls will show up in this episode (gasps) no way yeah i feel like the 2010s loved like the idea of american girl british guy yes i definitely did yeah me too (laughs) <laughs> keep calm and carry on <laughs> mug poster pillow it was it was we talked about that in the alex turner alexa chung episode mm. that the 20 early 2010s like everything british was really in yeah in america and skins yeah you was definitely part of it say wanker a lot yep wanker <laughs> actually made a shirt that said wanker on it <laughs> I feel like that would, would not, not be appropriate. Wear that today. I know. <laughs> I can't believe that. Wait, did you wear that out and about? Uh, I think I only did a couple times. What does wanker mean? I did. Mean? I did. Basically, does it mean, well, does it literally, mean? literally yeah. to wank means like to masturbate. That's what I thought. Yeah. Wait, so that's it's kind of funny that you're wearing that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like a shirt that. Imagine if someone wore a shirt that said masturbator on it. <laughs> I know, but, but, but I feel like it. then the term also just kind of means, like, someone who's a loser or a jerk or mm-hmm. someone who sucks, you know? Um, yeah. Maybe kind of pathetic. Remember I made you the University of Northern Texas mug? Yes. Mug. I love that mug. With the C handle. I still drink tea from it all the time. <laughs> I, I had a much dirtier mouth back in the day, I would say. <laughs> Me too. I feel like I'm a lot more... <laughs> I swore the other day, though, like, in front of a small child, then I did feel quite bad about it. Oh. The, the child won't remember, hopefully. Or maybe they will. Yeah. We'll repeat it. You gotta learn. <laughs> you gotta learn. Like, welcome to the um, world. Yep. I feel like this is a pretty fun episode, but it's not super drama-heavy, and it's, it's it's not gonna be the longest, so I feel like that gives us some freedom to 
have some conversation, so maybe it will end up way longer than we expect, <laughs> but it's it's a free free flowing episode. So what three words would you use to describe this couple? The three words I came up with to describe this couple are uncertain, mm-hmm. crass, hmm. and fun. Oh, <laughs> I love yeah. that. <laughs> um, yeah, so Jennifer Lawrence and Nicholas Holt. I was telling people at the wedding the other day that they were like, oh, who are you doing next? And I was saying, oh, I'm researching John and Abigail Adams and Jennifer Lawrence. And and then my friends were like, Darren Aronofsky? I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas Holt. And then they were like, who's that? But then I, I listed some movies and stuff, and th- I think they knew who he was. And... If you don't, if you don't know, I'll jog your memories, guys. But this episode, actually, I realized I told Mel this. It turned out to be a great companion episode to the Miley and Liam one, which we just did. Yeah. They show up in this episode. I feel like a lot of characters show up in this episode. So, if you haven't listened to that one, I recommend you do because I feel like it really connects to this. So, okay, who is Jennifer Lawrence? All right, I will have to stop the episode right there. Thank you so much for listening to the teaser. If you want to hear the full episode and many other bonus episodes, you can find them on Patreon. You can search Significant Lovers on the website or download the Patreon app. It works a lot like regular podcast listening apps. And we have tons of other couples on Patreon to listen to. So thank you so much for listening and supporting the show, and we'll get back together next week.